It's not surprising that critics hate it. They're critics hate, hate what? They hate Yellowstone? And confounded by its success. Oh, God. They can't get their heads around why it's like this. It's so funny that but they don't get it. Critics are less relevant today than at any time in human history. They're off so much more than they're on. Yellowstone National Park is one of the most famous natural wonders in the world, but there's something terrifying lurking beneath its beauty, a massive supervolcano that could change life as we know it. While the park's geysers and hot springs attract millions of visitors, few realize that Yellowstone is a ticking time bomb. Recently, scientists discovered new signs that have everyone worried, sparking fears that the supervolcano could be closer to erupting than we ever imagined. This is no ordinary volcano. Yellowstone's supervolcano has a magma chamber so vast it could fill the Grand Canyon multiple times. If it erupts, it would release ash and gases that could spread across the entire planet, causing major climate shifts and impacting global agriculture. According to experts, this discovery might be an early warning, and people around the world are now paying close attention to every update. Today, we're diving into what makes Yellowstone so unique and dangerous. The recent discovery that's sending shockwaves through the scientific community and what a supervolcano eruption could mean for us all. From the latest findings to emergency preparations, this story has it all. And it's a reminder of the power lying just beneath the surface. Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe for more eye-opening insights into nature's biggest mysteries and threats. Now, let's get into the fascinating yet terrifying world of Yellowstone. Yellowstone and its geological importance. Yellowstone National Park is renowned for its stunning landscapes, geothermal features, and unique wildlife, but it's also one of the most geologically active places on Earth. Located on top of a massive volcanic hotspot, Yellowstone is filled with geysers, hot springs, and boiling mud pots that hint at the extreme volcanic forces beneath the surface. This geothermal activity isn't just a curiosity, it's a reminder that Yellowstone sits on a supervolcano capable of massive eruptions. The Yellowstone supervolcano spans roughly 30 30 by 45 miles, with a magma chamber stretching deep into the earth. Its last major eruption occurred over 600,000 years ago, but its effects on the landscape are still visible today. What sets Yellowstone apart is its classification as a supervolcano, meaning its eruptions have the potential to be thousands of times more powerful than typical volcanic eruptions. Supervolcanoes like Yellowstone are rare, and when active, can produce eruptions that impact global climate and biodiversity. Scientists monitor Yellowstone closely, watching for any changes that could signal a future eruption. While a major eruption may seem unlikely in our lifetime, recent discoveries have reignited fears and captured global attention. Yellowstone is not only a wonder of nature, but a reminder of the Earth's raw and unpredictable power. The latest terrifying discovery at Yellowstone. Recently, scientists uncovered new data that has sparked fresh concerns about Yellowstone's supervolcano. This discovery, which involves unusual seismic activity and ground deformation, suggests changes in the magma chamber beneath the park. Ground deformation, when the surface rises or sinks, can indicate that magma is moving, creating pressure that could eventually lead to an eruption. While scientists are not sounding an immediate alarm, the discovery has raised serious questions about the supervolcano's stability. The most alarming aspect of this finding is the possibility that Yellowstone magma chamber may be filling more quickly than previously believed. If true, this could mean the pressure buildup is accelerating, though the timeline for any eruption remains uncertain. The discovery has prompted scientists to increase monitoring efforts, using advanced sensors to track every tremor, bulge, and shift within the park. Many are now watching Yellowstone closely, hoping to better understand what's happening underground. Understanding the Yellowstone Supervolcano The term supervolcano isn't used lightly. Yellowstone earned this title because its eruptions could be thousands of times more powerful than standard volcanoes. A supervolcano like Yellowstone forms over a long period as magma accumulates under the Earth's crust. When it eventually erupts, the explosion is so massive it can create a caldera, or a large crater, that spans miles. Yellowstone's caldera, which stretches across 45 miles, is a direct result of its last massive eruption over 650 40,000 years ago. Yellowstone's volcanic history includes three major eruptions, 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 640,000 years ago. Each of these eruptions was powerful enough to blanket much of North America in ash, influencing the climate and altering ecosystems. These past events help scientists understand the potential impact of a future eruption. Studies of the volcanic layers reveal that each eruption released gases and particles into the atmosphere, leading to global cooling for several years. Could a Yellowstone eruption be imminent? 
With recent discoveries and changes at Yellowstone, people are asking, could an eruption be near? While scientists emphasize that there's no immediate danger, the signs of volcanic activity, like ground deformation and increased seismic activity, suggest that the volcano is far from dormant. Predicting the exact timing of an eruption is nearly impossible, but experts look for certain precursors that often signal increased volcanic risk. One of the main indicators of a potential eruption is an increase in earthquake activity, also known as an earthquake swarm. Yellowstone experiences hundreds of small quakes each year, which are considered normal. However, if these quakes become more frequent or intense, it could indicate that magma is moving upward. So far, while activity has been unusual, it hasn't reached a level that suggests an imminent eruption. Scientists compare Yellowstone's current signs with those observed before eruptions at other supervolcanoes. While each volcano is unique, studying past eruptions helps researchers understand the patterns to watch for. For now, Yellowstone's activity is a reminder that it's a volatile environment. Ongoing research and monitoring will be key in understanding the likelihood of an eruption, but predicting exactly when or if it will happen remains challenging. How a Yellowstone eruption could impact global climate. My friend Randall Carlson always says, he said, G global warming is a concern. He goes, but global cooling is a real concern. He goes, that's yeah. what's really scary. What's really scary is ice ages. Yeah. He goes, because there's been moments in on Earth, while human beings were alive and while, while animals lived, there's been moments on Earth where it got so cold that there was so little oxygen in the Earth, on the Earth, that we almost didn't make it. That's crazy. Like you're, we're like, we're all biological life was real close to being extinguished. Yeah, having been to the Arctic, you realize like you don't want it to be that cold everywhere. All the time, everywhere. Oh my gosh! And all these fucking eggheads that want to spray the skies with particles and cool the sunlight. Slow down. Yeah. Or what? I mean, I, I suppose like one giant volcano, super volcano, could pretty much cool the Earth pretty quick too, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, one giant volcano, and we're fucked. Yeah. I mean, anybody who lives anywhere near Yellowstone, when it blows, is fucked. But even people in England are fucked if Yellowstone goes. Oh, yeah. Everyone's fucked. It's going to be nuclear winter. Yeah. Yeah, 70,000 years ago. Toba eruption been associated with a genetic bottleneck in human evolution about 70,000 years ago. It's hypothesized that the eruption resulted in a severe reduction in the size of the total human population due to the effects of the eruption and on the global climate. According to the genetic bottleneck theory, between 50,000 and 100,000 years ago, human populations decreased by 3,000 to 10,000, decreased to 3,000 to 10,000 surviving individuals. So there was as little as 3,000. That's the low number of humans on Earth because of this eruption. So literally, like, a good-sized theater where, like, I would do a show. That's crazy. 3,000. But those are the people that live. That's it. That, For the we, whole Earth. So there was a 10-year volcanic winter triggered by the eruption. Could have largely destroyed the food sources of humans and caused severe reduction in population sizes. These environmental changes may have generated population bottlenecks in many species, including hominids. This in turn may have accelerated different differentiation from within the smaller human population. Therefore, the genetic differences among modern humans may re represent changes within the last 70,000 years rather than the gradual differentiation over hundreds of thousands of years. Wow. If Yellowstone were to erupt, the effects wouldn't just be local, they'd be global. A supervolcano eruption releases vast amounts of ash and gases, which can spread across the atmosphere, blocking sunlight. This volcanic winter effect can lower global temperatures significantly, impacting agriculture, ecosystems, and everyday life. Similar eruptions in history have shown just how dramatic these climate shifts can be. One of the best known examples is the eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815, which caused the year without a summer. Crops failed and food shortages became widespread, leading to a global crisis. Yellowstone as a supervolcano could release even more material than Tambora, potentially causing temperature drops and weather changes that could last for years. The loss of sunlight could affect crops and food supplies worldwide. The preparedness of local authorities and scientists. With Yellowstone's potential risks, local authorities and scientists have taken steps to prepare for a worst case scenario. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, a specialized team of geologists and emergency responders, is constantly monitoring the park's geothermal activity. Using advanced tools like seismographs, GPS units, and satellite data, they track every movement within the park's volcanic system to detect signs of any potential eruption. While an eruption is considered unlikely in the near future, emergency plans are in place for surrounding communities. 
days. Local authorities have created evacuation plans, set up communication networks, and provided information to residents on what to do in the event of increased volcanic activity. States surrounding Yellowstone, including Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, have incorporated these plans into their emergency response systems to ensure quick action if needed. The Supervolcano's Effect on Local Wildlife Yellowstone's wildlife is one of its biggest attractions, with visitors flocking to see bison, wolves, bears, and more. However, the supervolcano's activity could have serious effects on these animals. In the past, researchers have observed that animals sometimes sense geological changes before humans do. Changes in their behavior could be an early warning sign of increased volcanic activity. The Yellowstone supervolcano, they didn't realize that it was so big until somewhere in like the 2000s, I think it was, they did satellite imagery and they realized, oh my God, that's a super volcano that is a continent killer. And it blows every six to 800,000 years and everyone dies. The last time it happened was like 600,000 years. See, that's it. If that happens, we're fucked. There was a Toba volcano in Indonesia 70,000 years ago. They think knocked the human race down to a few thousand people. Holy shit, these things happen, man. If you look at the timeline of the earth, they happen all the time. It's just when. Is it gonna happen now or is it gonna happen a thousand years from now when we have enough technology to mitigate its, its effects in some way? But when it happens, you get nuclear winter, everything dies, no crops, the sun doesn't get through, the, cold, yeah. the skies are filled with ash. Animals are highly sensitive to changes in the environment. They might leave certain areas, act more anxious, or alter their feeding patterns if they detect something unusual. Yellowstone's animals live close to geysers, hot springs, and other geothermal features, making them more attuned to changes in the park's geothermal activity. Some scientists believe studying wildlife behavior could provide additional insights into the volcano's activity. A large eruption would likely likely displace wildlife and disrupt ecosystems. Ash and gases could harm animals' health, and changes in the landscape could make it harder for them to find food and shelter. While Yellowstone's animals are resilient, a supervolcano eruption would challenge their survival. This potential impact on wildlife is one more reason scientists are keeping a close watch on Yellowstone's activity. Past instances of alarming geological changes. Yellowstone's history is full of geological surprises. Over the years, scientists have noted alarming shifts in the park's geology, from ground deformation to sudden increases in geothermal activity. Earthquake swarms, where hundreds of small quakes happen in a short time, have occurred periodically, signaling underground activity that sometimes raises concerns. These swarms can indicate magma movement, which may point to an increased likelihood of volcanic activity. Previous incidents, like the 1959 Hebgen Lake earthquake just outside Yellowstone, showed the region's geological volatility it caused significant ground shifts and landslides, leaving scientists to wonder if a future volcanic event could happen nearby. Each of these geological changes has added to scientists' understanding of Yellowstone's patterns, making them better prepared to monitor future risks. With technology advancing, they're more equipped than ever to track and analyze Yellowstone's unique and sometimes alarming geological behavior. What this means for nearby communities. Yellowstone's geological activity poses serious considerations for the communities surrounding the park. In the event of increased volcanic activity, or worse, an eruption, these areas would need to respond quickly to protect residents. Communities in states like Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho would face threats from ash fallout, seismic shocks, and potential evacuations. Emergency services in these regions have plans in place to respond, but the scale of a supervolcano eruption would push resources to the limits. Public awareness and disaster preparedness are critical in these areas 
areas. Residents are encouraged to stay informed through resources provided by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and local emergency management agencies. By understanding the risks, nearby communities can better prepare for the unlikely but possible scenario of volcanic unrest. Scientists continue to work with local authorities to ensure that, should the need arise, communities are equipped to act quickly and safely. Technology and Monitoring at Yellowstone Modern technology has transformed how scientists monitor Yellowstone's volcanic system. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory uses a network of seismographs, GPS stations, and satellite imaging to track changes in the park's geology. These tools measure ground deformation, gas emissions, and seismic activity, allowing scientists to detect early warning signs of potential eruptions. This constant monitoring means scientists can quickly identify unusual changes. In addition, advanced data analysis helps predict possible trends, providing critical insights into the volcano's behavior. By combining these technologies, researchers can maintain a close watch on Yellowstone and assess any signs of instability, helping to keep nearby communities and park visitors informed. Similar threats in other volcanic regions. Yellowstone isn't the world's only supervolcano. Others pose similar risks globally. Supervolcanoes in Italy, New Zealand, and Indonesia have similar capabilities to affect climate and ecosystems if they erupt. Studying these sites provides valuable comparisons, helping scientists identify patterns in supervolcano behavior and eruption indicators. For instance, Italy's Campi Flegre volcano has shown increased activity recently, prompting concern and in-depth research. By comparing these supervolcanoes, scientists can refine their monitoring techniques and potentially potentially improve early warning systems. Observing other volcanic regions offers valuable lessons that can apply to Yellowstone, increasing our preparedness for supervolcano activity worldwide. Exploring Earthquake Swarms and Geyser Changes Earthquake swarms and geyser changes are significant indicators of volcanic activity, and Yellowstone has experienced both. Earthquake swarms, where numerous small quakes occur in a short period, can indicate magma movement. In Yellowstone, these swarms have been frequent, raising questions about possible increased volcanic risk. Geysers are also telling signs. Changes in their eruption patterns can hint at shifts in underground pressure. For example, Yellowstone's steamboat geyser recently became highly active, setting records for frequent eruptions. These changes are closely monitored as both earthquakes and geysers offer insights into the underlying volcanic processes at work in Yellowstone. The potential global ramifications of an eruption? A Yellowstone eruption would have far-reaching effects. The ash cloud alone could disrupt air travel globally, leading to canceled flights and rerouted paths. Additionally, ash fallout could affect agriculture, harming crops and reducing food supplies. The economic impact of such disruptions would ripple across industries, creating worldwide challenges. Aside from economic effects, the eruption could cause environmental shifts, including cooling temperatures as sunlight gets blocked by ash particles. This would impact ecosystems systems, especially those dependent on stable climates. The global ramifications would be profound, affecting everything from agriculture to wildlife, highlighting the importance of understanding and preparing for such events. Experts' predictions for Yellowstone's future Scientists studying Yellowstone generally agree that a supervolcano eruption is unlikely in the immediate future, but the potential always exists. While recent data indicates some increased geothermal activity, experts believe we're still far from witnessing an eruption. Their predictions are based on decades of monitoring and historical comparisons with other supervolcanoes. Yet, the unpredictable nature of geology means that complete certainty is impossible. Some experts suggest Yellowstone's current activity is simply a phase of natural fluctuations. Still, the consensus is that ongoing research and monitoring are essential, ensuring that any changes are caught early and that accurate information reaches the public. The public response to Yellowstone's discovery. The latest discoveries at Yellowstone have sparked a range of reactions, from curiosity to genuine concern. News of the supervolcano's activity often goes viral, as people are fascinated by the idea of a natural force so powerful it could reshape the world. However, media coverage sometimes causes unnecessary fear by exaggerating the risks, leading to misinformation about the likelihood of an eruption. Thanks for exploring the mysteries of Yellowstone's supervolcano with us. This fascinating yet potentially dangerous dangerous feature of nature serves as a powerful reminder of the Earth's unpredictability. With scientists monitoring every sign, from earthquake swarms to geyser activity, we're learning more each day about what lies beneath Yellowstone's beauty. If you found this deep dive into Yellowstone intriguing, don't forget to subscribe. We'll bring you more insights into Earth's wonders and the natural forces that shape our world. Thanks for watching, and stay curious about the incredible science happening all around us.